Anyways, Lewis, it's me and you for this section, man. We're all lonesome today. Yeah, we are lonesome. Everyone left us. It's time to chat Super 6, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a bit of a fun one this week. It's a new one. Okay, but before we get into it, make sure you join our Super 6 Mini League using the code PTCH23. Um, how did you actually do this week? Uh, I'm going to have a quick look. I had a class f- last couple of weeks, but I think I absolutely stunk it this week. Yeah, I can't lie. I didn't have a good week this week. Uh, I, got si- mate, I got six points. Yeah, I, I feel like with Newcastle losing and but, mate, some other Listen to this, yeah, I was so close from getting like a lot more points. So Arsenal, obviously won 3-1. Uh, I predicted 3-0. Man United won 1-0. I predicted 2-0. So I'm two goals away from 10 points there. But did 1-1 Palace, Everton. Obviously, Everton mm. won. But it did 2-1 Newcastle. Did you? Did you go Bournemouth win? Uh, no, I went Newcastle win. I said 2-1 West Ham, they won 3-2. And I said 3-1 City. Who, who, no one got 4-4, surely. Yeah, no, that's ridiculous. I only got six points as well. I feel like cause <coughs> there was only three expected results came in. Everything else I was, was so surprised. close to getting 10 points up Arsenal United, man. It was, it was hard. Um, we'll touch on next week's in a second. But let's play this new game. Um, so we've each created a list. Mm-hmm. It could be a list of anything. Okay, the other person does not know what the title of that list is. Does that make sense? Yeah, so you've ranked your own top 10 based off whatever topic you have in your own head. And yep. I've got to guess which one you have and you have to guess which one I have. Can I say my list first? Yeah, go on then. Start with, shall we start with 10 and slowly work our way yeah. up? Okay, so 10, Wayne Rooney. Okay, that's interesting, eh? Right? Nine, Burkamp. So, right, okay. Eight, Ben Arthur. What the fuck can this list... And they, these three players have never been linked Seven, up together. Cristiano Ronaldo. Right, yeah, this is mental. Six, Steven Gerrard. Five, Zidane. What? Oh, it's not even... Pre- so it's not Premier League focused either. F- fourth, Kaka. Third, David Beckham. Second, Thierry Henry. Uh-huh. And first, Ronaldinho. I'll actually, I'll actually, no, sorry, I'll take it back. Fourth, Beckham. Third, Kaka. Second, Henri. And first, Ronaldinho. I'll tell you That's now, if Reeve mad. sat here, he'd get it. Is it the best dribblers in football? No. What, mate? How's Ben so, Arthur? Rooney, Burkamp, Ben Arthur, Ronaldo, Gerard Zidane, Beckham, Kaka, Henri, Ronaldinho. If you know what this is at this point in the video, comment it because that's fucking meant, mate. So this is based off something, like maybe you, how you rate them. Yeah. Maybe think less to do with stats and as a... It's more how you feel. Yes. Hmm. The players who excited you the most. Oh, you're close. You're on the right... Now you're on the right track. You're on yeah. the right track now. Because these are all ex- exhilarating players that... <gasps> The players who made you... Oh, I know this. Yeah, I have fucking got this now. Man. The players who made you fall in love with football. Yes, because it's at Ronaldinho. Look at the title. Footballers that made you fall in love with football. Yeah, that's boom. Ben Arthur's on there. Yeah, man. Okay, so this, now we've got context. Walk us back through that list. So, so you got Rooney. Because think about it, when you score, you go, Rooney! Yeah, it, that was like a whole playground. Burkamp camp for his goal against Newcastle. Yeah, that is phenomenal. Ben Arthur, because he's just exhilarating and excited. I want to be left-footed because of him. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo for free kicks. Yeah, he's quite low for you on your yeah. list. Yeah. Like, how much you love Ronaldo. Yeah, but he didn't make me fall in love with football. He said, mainly his free kicks, that was. Yeah. Uh, Steven Gerrard for his screamers. And his goal against West Ham stands out in my mind f- f- since being a kid. Uh-huh. Zidane, before every football match, Sunday League, I'd watch this same 15 minute Zidane do- uh, comp- <laughs> yeah. Uh, compilation. Yeah. Uh, fourth, Beckham, free kicks, David Beckham. Third, Kaka, because he's my third favourite footballer of all time. Mm. And luck being fortunate enough to meet my hero. Quite a few times. Yeah. Knows me. Good mates with him. Good I mates love with him. Kaka as well. That's pretty mad, isn't it? Yeah. He says hi to me. Uh, <laughs> second, Thierry Henry. He was one of two footballers I had on my wall. I had Thierry Henry and I had Ronaldinho. Yeah, Ronaldinho was always... The hero. I think Footballers that made me fall in love with football. That yeah, that's a pretty good list, right? That is a good list. I'm surprised Ben Arthur's on there, but I'm glad he is. Yeah. Right. Your list. My list. Slightly different to yours. So, in 10, I have Vidic. Okay. I then have Giroud, followed by an eighth, Michael Owen. What? Hang on a minute. Vidic, Giroud, Michael Owen? Yeah. Seventh, 
Lukaku. What? <laughs> oh. Sixth, Mr. John Terry himself. Fifth is Harry Kane. Wait, hang on a minute. I got, I got, to, I got to write this down and look at it. So, so tenth vintage, ninth Giroud, Michael Owen in eighth, Lukaku seventh, Terry sixth, Harry Kane fifth. Ha whoa, whoa, whoa! So Lukaku and then Terry, then Harry Kane. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <sighs> You got no guesses at this point? No. Okay, this might help you. Uh, <laughs> I probably won't. Andy Carroll, next. In fourth. In fourth. Ben Teke. <laughs> Sorry, what? Ben Teke is third. <laughs> um, second is the Peter Crouch himself. <laughs> Sorry, what the hell is this list? And first is Alan Shearer. So to Mate, finish off, it goes it, Vidic, uh, Giroud, Owen, Lukaku, Terry, Kane. So Shearer is like your favourite player ever. Yeah, he's just a god, isn't he? But it, this is... The Croucher's second favourite player ever? No. Ben Teke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go down the favourite player route, personally. Vidic and Giroud... I mean, I'm baffled. I'm absolutely... I'm genuinely baffled. <laughs> Not to, it can't be to do with goals because Vidic is in there. Terry scored goals. Shit house is like hardest. No, you can't have hardest men in football because Owen's in there. Yeah, and trust me, I do not like Michael Owen because of my Newcastle ties. Um, but he he does make this list for me. <sighs> People that should have won a Ballon d'Or that didn't. Oy. But Owen did win a Ballon d'Or. Um, can't mate I'm if you I've need got, a clue I can I give need you a clue one. I've got nothing well I'd, I'd say take notice to their positions you know yeah and strikers what they're, and what they're, apart from Terry's a centre back and Vidic's centre back so it's, it's strikers and centre backs are good in this list what <laughs> you've listed some strikers and centre backs yeah I know that so what, what, what traditional what traditional traits do like a striker and a centre back is this is this a list of the heading ability or most headed goals in the Premier League? It is heading ability. How I rate the best headers of a ball in Premier League Lukaku history. Lukaku is in it. Lukaku, man, has a good where's, little header on Where's Chicharito? Hernan oh, yeah, that's a good show, actually. I put Michael Owen for the same reason. He used to be... Mike Owen was yeah, so yeah. sneaky. He'd be offside, yeah. hop in and get it still. Yeah, and then so you got... Fitted. Benteke! Uh, ben, to me, ben to, I was just thinking of big shit out of like John of the ball. Terry. Yeah, uh, Terry's probably a bit low. Do you know who I did leave out? Tim Cahill used to score. Yeah, he, he only scored with his head. Yeah. That's a bizarre list. I don't know if I agree with that either. <laughs> who, who's your best ever, he, ever header of a ball, do you think? Shira? Oh, Terry? It's hard, isn't it? Chicharito? There's not many about who are like just header merchants except for Peter Crowd. Who? It's tiny and always wins headers. It was oh, for, for Chicharito or Owen. Uh, def, it was Defoe decent. No, no, uh, no. Defoe, no, get head, no. no. I don't know about that league, Lewis, uh, that list, sorry, but hey, each to their own. Each to their own. Each to their own. Look, guys, let, let us know your lists in the comments and we'll try and guess them. Yeah, try and guess each other's. That'll yeah. be good. Yeah. Um, Speaking of Super 6, obviously it returns after the international break with Newcastle, Chelsea, Forest, Brighton, Burnley, West Ham, Brentford, Arsenal, Spurs, Villa, Everton, Man United. Easiest to predict there, Newcastle, Chelsea. Two Roll one them Chelsea. over 4 0 at St. James's. You're wrong. Um, I think the easiest to predict there is. They're actually all pretty hard. Yeah, it's some tricky it games. It is a like... tough week this week, but remember, guys, it's a free shot at £250,000. You may as well get involved. Follow the link in the description down below to sign up now.